Hi, this is Kristen with APS EdTech, and this is a quick tip video for students on how to use the accessibility features that are built into your Chromebooks. To get to accessibility, click on the time in the bottom right corner. I have my accessibility pinned here. First, to pin it, you click on the settings wheel in the bottom right corner, then click on accessibility, then toggle on show accessibility options in quick settings. That way it's quicker to get to. Some accessibility settings you may want to turn on. Text to speech. Turn on select to speak. If you turn this on, you can use this as a screen reader to read anything on screen to you. Websites, documents, slideshows, and more. You can actually click here to change the settings. You can play it to preview it. You can automatically change language to match selected content, so if it's speaking in Spanish, it'll read it to you in Spanish instead of trying to read it to you in English. And here you can change the voices, so there's different accents um, in male and female voices. Under display and magnification, you can do color correction, where you can adjust how the colors are displayed. Color inversion, so turn light dark and dark light. Turn on a magnifier if you need help to see. You can have your docked magnifier, which then shows you up at the top what you're looking at bigger, but then you still see um, smaller down below. You can change your website text and font size here if you wanted to change the way that the internet looks and make it larger or a different font. You can click here to change the keyboard and text input. If you want to turn on the on-screen keyboard, this keyboard will now pop up whenever you want and you can even make it half the screen if you would like. If you turn on dictation, then this microphone will live down here in the bottom in your dock, and you can use talk to text to fill in answers and do Google searches and anywhere else you might type, you can talk to text instead. You can change the language of your Chromebook. Please be careful, it's hard to get back to this if you change it to a language you don't understand. Um, and then the last setting I'm gonna talk about is cursors and touchpads. If you want this little red circle to show up around your mouse, you can click here to highlight the mouse cursor when it's moving. You can change your mouse size to larger and even change the color, whatever's going to help you see your mouse better. Once you have those settings turned on, now I can click here on accessibility and I can turn on and off, select to speak, dictation, mouse size, everything that I've chosen under accessibility. If I want to use the talk to text feature, it's super easy. I go to wherever my teacher wants me to type, like in this document. I click the little microphone down at the bottom. And now it's listening to me as I'm talking. It's going to type it into the box or page as I talk, period. It even types punctuation, comma, just say the punctuation you want, period. Click on the microphone again to turn it off. To turn on the talk to text feature, click on the little speaker button that is docked down here that says select to speak. Then you can actually click and drag and draw a box around what you want it to talk to you. To use the screen reader function, find whatever it is you would like to be read to you. Click on the little microphone speaker at the bottom that says select to speak. Then click and drag over what you would like it to read to you. It'll draw a little pink box around it. Native Hawaiian salt makers combat climate change and pollution to protect a sacred tradition. Then I can scroll to the next section, click on the microphone again, and select to speak the next bit. Hanapepe, Hawaii. On a warm summer afternoon, Tina Taniguchi was on her hands and knees scraping dirt off an oblong depression in the... I can pause it at any point, and if I click the next arrow, I can go to the next sentence. Thick brown hair peeked out from her coconut leaf hat. Splotches. I can even click the forward button to go to the next paragraph. Tanaguchi smiles a lot when she's working in her corner of the Hanapepe salt patch on the west side of Kauai. So that's some ways that you can use the screen reader to help you stay focused with your reading assignments during class. You can even change the speed if you want it slower or faster. I changed the voice to match what I liked in the settings. You can change the voice to match what you like in the settings so that it makes it easier for you to complete your reading assignments. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more quick tip videos for students.